Why the launch of Axiom 4 is pivotal for Indian space sector? Why it is not just an achievement for global order, but also for India? How is the Indian space sector economy booming and how this particular successful mission will contribute hugely to it? The successful launch of Axiom 4 mission is not only going to change the face of human space flight missions for the global order, but also for India. And it is a moment that India is celebrating because after 41 years, again an Indian is entering the space. That is Shubhanshu Shukla for us. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajiram and Ravi's Simplified. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to talk about the Axiom mission. We are also going to discuss why it matters for India. We are going to talk about India's own human space flight mission and discuss the opportunities in terms of the space sector economy as well as the upcoming missions in front of us. So let us begin with the mission that has been successfully launched as of now, that is Axiom 4. What is this mission exactly? So this mission is a private astronaut mission to the International Space Station that we have and it is being operated by Axiom Space with partnership of SpaceX as well as NASA. Now, an important thing to remember here is that this is a commercial and international space mission. That means this is not a state-sponsored mission. And that is why in coming times, we are going to see an enhanced commercial as well as private sponsored, private based space sector that will be booming. Now, this particular mission has launched today itself after being delayed by multiple times. Now, the launch target, as I said, was kept for today itself and it has been successfully launched from the NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Now, the objective of this mission is very simple that it is a scientific research expedition. And we have a special scenario in terms of India because 60 research studies are being done there. And when we talk about these 60 scientific experiment, seven such experiments have been designed by India. And Subhanshu Shukla will be focusing on these experiments with special focus on microgravity's effect on agriculture, biological processes and the human body. Let us understand a little bit more about this mission. The first thing that we have established is the key feature and the mission objectives. Another mission objective beyond research and development goes to that, that it is a commercial space endeavor. That means it is going to facilitate commercial activities in space, be it scientific research, be it space tourism or technological development. Now, these dimensions become important for us to understand because this is how we will see that space and space technology is going beyond an activity that was left only for government budget and we are looking into how private participation and commercialization can enhance not just the benefits and the technological advancements but also the development that will be coming here from. Furthermore, this is an international collaboration because this will facilitate strengthened partnership between the nation. If we talk about the participants, we know one that is Subhanshu Shukla who is from India. We have three other participants. We have one from Hungary, we have one from Poland and one from US. Now this basically shows that how we are focusing on global collaborations and Shubhanshu Shukla is the one who is going to be the pilot of this particular mission. Now the particular spacecraft that is being used here is the Dragon spacecraft and it is being launched on the top of a Falcon 9 rocket. Now Falcon 9 rocket is not unknown and the duration of the stay in terms of International Space Station is going to be for 14 days and the scientific experiments would be done to perform technology demonstrations, engage in educational outreach and it will also focus on commercial space station development. So Axim's long term focus vision is to include building the first commercial space station 
apart from the international space station that already exist now let us move beyond just this mission and understand that why axiom 4 matters so much for india when we talk about this particular space mission we have to understand that it is not just about an indian shubhanshu shukla going back into the space after 41 years it, before this it was only rakesh sharma who went in 1984 but he will be the first person to visit from India the International Space Station. So it will, it is not just about a personal feat of an Indian, but also about how it is going to change the human space flight journey for India as well. Now let us look into the dimensions related with that. Starting with the first one, that it is the first Indian that who is going to ISS. Apart from that, we are going to get a un better understanding of return of human space flight because this mission symbolizes that how India has come back to human space flight after 40 years. The first one to go on a human space flight, the first Indian was Rakesh Sharma as I have just mentioned and it will be showcasing and it will be using its growing capabilities as well as ambitions. So the whatever technology and learnings we get here, they will be used for the upcoming future missions that will be done by India. It will be laying the foundation for future missions because it is very important that we conduct our human space flight program that is Gaganyaan and the research developments, technological developments and the research experiments would give us more clarity and help us to fulfill another long term goal of human landing on moon by 2040. It will also lead to scientific contribution, the Indian experiments. As I said, seven experiments have been designed by India. 60 such experiments are going to be done and these experiments be it on the effects of microgravity they will contribute to the global scientific understanding and India would be one of the contributors herein and it will also inform future Indian space endeavors. Now it will be contributing to the upcoming space endeavors and this mission is a great example of global collaboration that how there is an increasing engagement in public private international partnership and India is also going up in that particular platform. Now we have understood that how it becomes significant for India. We have understood the dimension. Now let us look at the human space flight mission Gaganyaan that India is aspiring to complete. Now when we talk about Gaganyaan, the whole objective here is to send a crew of three Indian astronauts into the low earth orbit of 400 kilometer for three days and ensure their return safely on earth. Now the timeline that has been kept for this that the first crewed flight will be as of now has been planned for 2027. However, there has been a clear announcement before this crewed flight where human crew will be going on, there will be a test of uncrewed flight. Apart from this, if we talk about this particular mission, we have to understand the technicalities involved with it. For example, launch vehicle. India has modified its own GSLV MK 3rd and made a human rated version, which will be the most powerful rocket. So to ensure the safety and with as well as the deliverability of this human space flight mission. Then the crew module, which has been already tested, basically it will be a habitable space which will be providing Earth-like environment for the astronauts. There will be another service module which will be supporting the crew module which we have present in terms of propulsion, in terms of power as well as life support systems required for the crew. And if we talk about astronaut selection, there have been already four astronauts who have been selected including Shubhanshu Shukla who have been not just trained in the ISRO's facility but also trained in Russia 
for the Gaganyaan mission. Now, the significance of this whole mission is not just going to be the fact that India gets its first human spaceflight mission, but also that India will enter the list of most elite nations who have successfully completed and there is a limited number which is present there that is only US, Russia and China. And here India will be developing, India is developing independent human spaceflight mission. So we are not collaborating for our own mission. Now I hope you have a clarity about the Gaganyaan mission as well. Now let us talk about when we are talking about space market, how it is expanding and what opportunities India has in terms of space sector economy. If we talk about the space sector economy, the number stands around 6.4 billion dollars. However, by 2033, we are expecting it to reach 44 billion dollars and we will be capturing 8% of the global market. Now, this would be done by few key drivers who would be majorly contributing to this growth and the first of the major key drivers is the key government initiatives. For example, policies which had undertaken Indian space policy of 2023. Then we have private sector participation. In the coming times, we have seen enhanced participation. We have seen space startups increasing especially in 2024 and the third key driver will be the technological advancement where there is focus on new and upcoming technologies such as satcom when we are talking about satellite communication where we are looking into expanded digital connectivity especially in rural areas we have earth observation and remote sensing where we can use it for transformation of agriculture for mitigation, response and preparedness in terms of disaster management and as well as climate resilience. India is also a very good destination in terms of the launch services that it can offer for two reasons. First, it is cost effective. Second, it offers reliable launch services, especially by our PSLV launches and it can attract international clients, making it a profitable endeavor. Furthermore, there are emerging segments we are seeing, especially in space sector where India can dominate. But when we are talking about space tourism, when we are talking about in orbit servicing of satellites, when we are talking about space debris management, there are the segments in which in upcoming time India can further expand its opportunities in terms of the growing space economy that is in front of us. Now, if we talk about the upcoming times and what the way ahead looks like, India has ambitious goals and missions where we are not just focusing on ourselves, but we have multiple international collaborations as well. Certain missions that we need to look forward to are Bharat Antriksh Station, where we are planning to deploy our own space station with the first module which will come out by 2028 and it will be fully operational in next 10 years, that is 2035. We have crewed lunar mission, which is aiming for a manned mission to moon, where we will be able to land man on the moon. And it is expected to come by 2040, especially building from the technology of Gaganyaan and Bharat Antriksh station. Apart from that, we are also looking forward to next generation launch vehicle. Basically, it is focused on a reusable vehicle. But at the same time, it is low cost so that it can support ambitious missions and it is expected that it will be delivered by 2032. As we can see, the India's future in terms of space sectors looks bright and ambitious and Axiom 4 is another feather in the hat. But the coming times can be utilized very well when we can work on the potential that we have. That was all from my side. Thank you so much.